2021 has been brilliant for a set of course are looking even better than ever before and with CSP, Sol and now Pure all adding into the mix I think it's time to play with all the new toys that were released just before Christmas so in this video we're going to take a look at everything that's new in Pure 0.58 I'm also running this with Sol 2.2 and with the new 1.77 preview CSP for all those great rain effects and we're going to be doing all of this at the Barcelona GP circuit and in this amazing Lamborghini from Kunos. First of all then we're on Sol 2.2 CSP 1.77 Preview 1 and Pure 0.58 for all the footage in here. Remember too guys that for Pure 0.58 you do need CSP 1.76 Public or the latest Preview 1.77 or above. If you don't you will get errors. So what's new in Pure 0.58? Pure was designed to bring a new way to control exposure into a set of Corsa and Pure 0.58 has a number of developments elements of that world lighting. There is a new pure config app, there's custom script elements and there's also three pure PP filters that's pure, pure eye and pure HDR eye. Do also remember guys that Pure and CSP Preview are only available from Peter's and Ilya's Patreon page. When you install Pure 0.58 there are a couple of things that you actually need to make sure are changed in a specific way. The first is the rendering frequency cannot be set to static and that's in video under a set of Corsa. The second piece is under reflection FX. You'll see there is a number of settings here under general cube map reflections. These all need to be ticked otherwise Pure won't work correctly. The next place we need to go to is back into video and then do make sure that on the PP filter that you are using one of the Pure PP filters. So Pure, Pure Eye or Pure HDR Eye. The next thing to check is how it's set up in weather effects and this can cause you some problems if it's not set up correctly. So custom shader patch, weather effects, you've got the controller script here, you should have Sol 2.2 so have the latest version of Sol installed and then also you can see on the weather script you can choose pure and make sure it's the right version 0.58. If these aren't selected correctly then you may not get the desired effects in the game. Before we start with the settings then let's talk a little bit more about what pure is doing. So with the pure filter the exposure is not being calculated by auto exposure but with cube map brightest estimation it uses the data from the CSP reflections FX and estimates the light which reaches the camera with this and an idle exposure depending on the sun angle a better exposure is calculated this is very important for VR where the head movement obviously is more extensive the new exposure calculation prevents a number of negative effects with auto exposure auto exposure is trying to average the screen brightness and tries to adapt it but this leads to big and unrealistic brightness fluctuations that we've all seen when moving the head in dark areas. Pure can now create a very stable behavior. With the pure PP filter brightness is controlled very slowly but the brightness is great enough to drive. In pure PP filter no auto exposure is used but it is still activated to do other things. Also this pure filter is very good if HDR is activated. With the pure IPP filter a different principle is used to make the brightness more stable. It uses auto exposure but auto exposure is bypassed if there is too much light. This is calculated by the cube map brightness estimation. And of course then we have pure HDR eye which is a specialized HDR filter with all of the logic of the pure eye filter. The other big piece of development is the pure config app which I'm going to show you today and this is a Lua app with all of those features. One of the biggest features is you can import or export your configs in an integrated file browser which is not possible in Python apps. Also those Lua apps work much better. Peter has also coded an interface where Pure, the weather script and the Pure config app can communicate in a very fast way. So you have hardly any delay in communication between those two parts. Also lastly with Pure and Pure config PP filters modders can use their own UI elements for their own scripts. Now that we've gone through all the technical pieces with Pure, what you need to install it and also what else that I'm running Sol 2.2 and CSP 1.77 preview, let's take a look at the actual settings and this is the bit I'm really excited about. So what I'm going to do here is open a number of apps. So I'm just in the drive menu, I've gone to external camera and I'm just going to show you around the new Pure config tool. The first thing to do is when you load it up, you can see you've got quality presets here. So if I was to choose the top one there the very high one you can see that there's a number of adjustments that go on there 
and then everything stabilizes. So I am just in the game running in drive menu and this is all happening live in game. I've also clicked open one of the other config points and that is the date and time. So this allows you, if you've seen my videos before, to change the date and time. And this is really cool. So remember, this is all live in game. And so you can change the hours here. I'm just going to go further before dawn and just see how the lighting changes. Now, remember what I said earlier on about the way that Pure handles light. You can see here it looks very different from your standard Assetto Corsa, even with Sol 2.2 and the standard CSPs. Now, what you will see is the way that the lights work on the car and around the stadium and as I go further and further and darker I will put the lights on in a moment and this is where I think pure and this setup looks much more realistic and that's obviously the aim is to make this look as real life as possible as our eyes would see it not just as it would be in a computer game so I've gone quite early in the morning there so I'm going to about 4 a.m. in the morning so let's bring it straight back up into daylight and you can see how all the light changes there. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to show you the rain working with this later on and that has got some incredible effects that I think you will be very impressed with. I certainly am very impressed with the way that it handles humidity in the air and the way that the lights work through that. It looks fantastic. Now that we've seen the general overview and the quality presets of Pure, let's have a look at some of these tabs here. At the top here though, it does tell you what config file you're on and also what version of CSP and Pure, which is really handy too. So we've had a look in the main section. We've also got an AI section here, which changes the AI headlight, ambient light, and the AI headlight fog. And you'll understand what we're talking about when we're talking about fog on headlights it looks fantastic I'll show you that as I said later on also in light there's all sorts of different things that you can change so obviously you're going to leave these on the standard settings unless you want to do something funky and also a number of these settings are there for the modders that are going to be designing PP filters for pure so that's going to be fantastic too again a number of areas here including reflection skylight directional ambient light ambient light and sunlight clouds we saw the settings change earlier on when we clicked on the presets so you can change the cloud distance the cloud quality and more calculation limiters and modes so i'm going to bring up the soul planner 2.2 this is the weather planner of course and i'm just going to take a look at these clouds because these work very differently than in the standard soul 2.2 and i know in earlier versions of soul personally i used to like the way that the clouds developed and i know that changed slightly in later versions but this looks absolutely stunning and this gives you a good indication of all of the different graphical updates that Pure is giving here. Also as we flick through the different cloud settings you'll notice that you can still see the sun in nearly all of these. Well that's because the sun has an incredible amount of light and this is one of the key features of Pure. You should be able to see the sun through the clouds because obviously it is the brightest light in any environment unless there's an intense amount of cloud cover. Let's move on to the next section then which is PP and in here you have PP brightness, PP hue, saturation, contrast and a number of other settings there. If you look at the bottom as well you've also got some save script settings and load script settings and also the ability to reset so you can have a bit of a play about in here and still be able to reset those settings back to standard. Sound is a good one so internal and external sound for wind and also rain so the volume you can change which is really important because depending on the car you're in the volume can be a little bit too loud on some of the mods that I've actually used. State gives you a fantastic amount of information there. Everything from where the sun and the moon are all the way through to what track orientation you've got and the camera orientation. And then also you've got debug memory and debug graphics right at the end there. If I just go back to the main tab, you'll also see at the bottom that you've got save, load, export and import so you can have different config files for different styles of gameplay that you want whether that's at night time or a different track and you can actually share those with your friends as well which is brilliant let's move on then and start to look at the rain so i've got csp 1.77 preview remember that's a patreon only and that gives you external rain and i've not really tried this yet with pure so i've just put the rain on and the wipers are going on the lamborghini you can see here the blue bar is going up that means the rain is coming down and we can hear that as well but now 
stuff that's put some really heavy rain on so the rain amount will go up to 100% and the rain is coming down a couple of things I want you to notice here the Sun has actually disappeared now but there is still light coming from that Sun between the clouds and also the light that's coming out of the headlights there is a slight haze on it and I really like the look of that and I'm going to show you that from different angles as we go through this little bit of footage what I'm also going to do though is bring on weather effects debug this is one of my favorites as you know if you've seen my videos before and I'm just going to put some more rain straight on so this enables us to kind of put a shortcut of the maximum amount of rain or wetness um, on the track or on the car all in one go so let's just move these slides around and take a look at how this looks what you can see now is more moisture in the air so as I've put all of this rain wetness and water right to the max you can actually see it in the air which is great now let's just drop the time a little bit now you can see there that there's a fog and a haze around the headlights which I do believe is very different from the standard CSP and Sol version let's just bring it straight back up again you can see all the reflections on the ground there I think this looks absolutely fantastic let's just move the rain down a little bit and we'll just adjust this wetness and the water on the track just to get some different effects let's take a look at these then from different angles so you can see the headlights and the way that they work and the light works from the headlight as I also drop the time of day and let's make it a little bit darker So I'd be really interested guys if you tell me in the comments below what you think to this latest iteration of Pure. I personally think Peter is definitely going in the right direction with this. As I said previously in one of my videos, Pure will replace Sol at some point. So basically Pure is going to become Sol 3.0. It's also worth remembering that of course Pure 0.5a and the, all the next versions of Pure up until the standard release candidate and all the versions of CSP preview sometimes do have a few bugs with them and they are a little bit glitchy but look at the development that we're seeing effectively live before we get a full release candidate so remember guys CSP 1.77 preview and all the preview files only come from patreon and pure is also patreon i think for a couple of pounds a month you can actually subscribe to both of them and then every month or every six weeks you're getting a new iteration of csp and pure what's not to like about that and we're supporting the developers of this still fantastic sim racing game also guys do remember if you're new here that i've not really gone through any installation processes here for CSP or Sol. If you do check out the rest of my videos, I've got a number of tutorials and guides on how to get these installed properly and how to get past all the common problems and mistakes. One of the biggest things I would say is always make sure you've got the very latest version of CSP that you can have. And if you do check your weather effects, in custom shader patch in settings in content manager and you can't see the right scripts there or the right controller that's going to cause you some problems when you do install sol 2.2 always use the sol uninstall.bat to get rid of the old version that's a good tip too but again do check out all the videos on the channel thank you so much for watching today i hope you all had an amazing christmas or holiday period do check out the rest of the channel and i'd love to have you on board if you haven't subscribed yet so hit that subscribe and like button for the video see you soon guys